Nobody knows the reason for MS, but this looks like it might be the reason for MS. EBV is the most common virus in the human population. And when I say common, I mean 95% of human beings have Epstein-Barr virus. Many people in the US know this as mono, the kissing disease, because that's how it's transmitted. As a teenager, you get mono by kissing people. Having EBV means that you have a 30-fold increase in the likelihood of developing MS. The way this has been worked out is with an enormous study conducted by a professor of epidemiology and nutrition at Harvard called Alberto Asheri. And his group has been following enormous populations of people over a long period of time, millions of people over 20 years. And what they have discovered is pretty astonishing. Everybody with MS has EBV. Professor Ascario is not the only one. If we look to the UK, Professor Gavin Giovannoni at Barts has been saying that this is likely to be the cause for MS since 1999. However, you've got to bear in mind, over the course of my MS, 28 years, there has been a constant stream of cures and reasons and things like this, and people get very excited, but not a single one of them has an iota of the scientific backing that this has. The nice thing about this EBV research is it gives people a way to go. It is helping confirm the hypothesis that this disease or the cause of this disease that we have is viral. Now that we know this is viral, it allows us to go beyond things like DMTs and the really effective B cell therapies without getting into really sort of granular science. They're really effective almost by accident, should we say, because they are helping to step on some of the reasons, the things that the EBV can trigger off. It was said on the Dr. Barry Singer podcast, there's three ways of looking at a cure for MS. There's number one, there's stopping MS in its tracks. Number two is repairing the damage from MS. And number three is stopping anyone getting MS at all. And this is where EBV is really exciting because EBV can be dealt with by a vaccine, something we're all familiar with now in these COVID days. There are companies, Moderna is working on an mRNA vaccine right now, and there's other people doing it. And if we could vaccinate against EBV so people didn't get EBV, then it looks incredibly likely that they won't develop MS. It's that simple. When we get these vaccines, and Professor Giovannoni said it's going to be about six to eight years out before we get a viable vaccine, then we can start doing something about this. But it's still going to take a long time to actually see because polio was cured by a worldwide vaccination program over many decades. And that's kind of the sort of idea that you have to have in your head. The other thing with an EBV vaccine is it's going to take time to prove that it's super safe because the people that will benefit from an EBV vaccine regarding not developing MS ever are preschool, young children, probably I'm guessing around the sort of four to five age group because that is before people start getting infected with EBV. If EBV is a contributor to your MS and how your MS behaves, how it evolves, how it gets worse, because it never gets better, then having an EBV vaccine, even when you're an adult like me, like you with MS, could mean that once that EBV is knocked on the head by the vaccination, it will stop our MS getting any worse. So it's just astonishing. I mean, it's kind of one of these things that you don't want to let yourself think about too much because it actually looks like there's light at the end of the tunnel and we know that it's not an oncoming train. So this is super good news. I just think it's one of these things where the science says that it's real and I am just willing myself to be around long enough that I can benefit from some of these scientific advances. But it's good news. It's not good news tomorrow, but it's good news. And that is awesome for people with MS. Stay tuned to Lived Health because when there's any more breaking news around EBV, we'll be the first to bring it to you. Have a lovely day. Take care.